Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Impact Pro Wrestling, our second episode. And we are still in the first round of our tournament, but that does not change that we will be having final level action here in Baltimore. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's start by looking at the matches that we have planned for you all tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, our first matchup of the evening, we will have one of the most entertaining men on the Impact Pro Wrestling roster. That man on the left, his name is DJ Summers. Going one on one with the man on the right, one of the most serious men we have in Impact Pro Wrestling. He goes by the name Adam Cage. Now, ladies and gentlemen, in our second match of the evening, we will have that man on the right, a man that has been known to be a savage. He goes by the name Rick Hall, also Rick the Savage Hall. We'll be going one-on-one -on -one with one of Impact Pro Wrestling's most brightest stars. The man that we all know to be called Johnny Star. Ladies and gentlemen, our third match will commence later in the night and that match will be a dangerous man that man on the left Eddie Danger you can see that he's a dangerous man by just a look in his eye going one on one with the phenomenal one Peter Young now we will see exactly how phenomenal Peter Young is when he goes one on one with Eddie Danger ladies and gentlemen this is our main event of the night match not one, not two, not three, but four. Match number four. It is that man on the left. His name is not Clark Kent, but that does not change the fact that that man is a Superman. The Superman, Danny Myers, will be in our main event going one-on-one -on -one with Impact Pro Wrestling's first generation superstar. First generation. And that man is Trevor Jericho, that man on the right, right there. Now, we will see exactly how super Danny Myers is when he goes one-on-one -on -one with Trevor Jericho. And that is our main event. But right now, it is time for our first match of the evening. DJ Summers against Adam Cage. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our first matchup of the evening match number one currently coming down the ring you guys can see him and you can read the shirt this man is the king of the cage match because every match he's in is indeed a cage match this is Adam Cage ladies and gentlemen Adam Cage being Impact Pro Wrestling most likely the most serious wrestler we have on the roster this man does not like to play games. He is not a showboat. This man, above all else, is a great wrestler, and he is deadly serious, and he has deadly focus. This man is not a man that you want to make one small slip up. Now, while that's the most serious wrestler we have on the roster, here, ladies and gentlemen, comes the most entertaining, the funnest wrestler on this roster. Ladies and gentlemen, here, as you guys can read, we have D. DJ Summers. You guys can see DJ Summers for what he's all about very clearly. Coming down to the ring happy, joyful as ever. Dancing with the crowd and you know the crowd is happy. And everyone's having a good time when DJ Summers is in the building. Looks like DJ Summers is getting ready for this matchup. This will surely be a great matchup between these two men. The most entertaining wrestler and the most serious wrestler. We'll see if fun wins out or if the focus is just too strong. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is about to begin. DJ Summers and Adam Cage Ref has rung the bell, and Adam Cage starting off the match very nicely with that running Lufez press. Setting up DJ Summers for that running neck twist on him. 
Now Adam Cage raking the back of DJ. Adam Cage on the assault here, trying to win this match as quickly as possible. Showing some real brutality here. Looks like DJ finally found his footing. Not gonna let Adam Cage take advantage of him. Oh, look at this. We thought that DJ was finally finding some momentum here. It looks like Adam Cage has already got too much of it. Both men back on their feet. Adam Cage sending DJ to the ropes. And Adam Cage with a nice slam right there. Slamming DJ Summers' head on the mat. Now trying to get DJ up, but DJ counters with that nice uppercut. And a running fame asser. Thanks goes out there to the one and only Billy Gunn. DJ putting Adam in the camel clutch, but Adam able to escape here too early for any kind of submission game. Adam going for a pinfall here. He didn't have one. He didn't get two. He got zero there. Now DJ sending Adam to the ropes, and he hits Adam in the face with that big forearm. A great move there performed by DJ Summers. DJ with that nice DDT. Adam Cage with a nice reversal. Hitting DJ square in the chest with that big clothesline. Adam Cage with that nice springboard leg drop. Going for a pinfall now. He's got one. That's two, but that's not three. Adam Cage going for a drop kick. Oh, but look at this. Oh, DJ Summers went for a close line, but Adam Cage was able to reverse it. Adam Cage here on the assault. Now slamming DJ Summers' face into the mat. DJ Summers has got to find his momentum. He's got to get some sort of comeback working here. It looks like Adam Cage has been dominating this matchup for the majority of it. Now look at this. Adam Cage setting up DJ going for a top rope face buster. And I'm going for the pinfall. That's two right there, but that's not three. Adam Cage with that drop kick to the back of DJ Summers. Now DJ reversing with a big knee to the throat of Adam Cage. Now that DJ has finally found some sort of offense, he's got a stick on Adam. You do not want Adam reversing. You do not want Adam back on his feet and back on the offensive. It seems like so far, DJ is maintaining his offense for the split second that he has had it. But he's got to be on the offensive. Now, see, a slip up like that, that's the kind of mistake that Adam Cage would take advantage of. Although it appears that DJ was able to get back up before Adam. DJ still in control here. Now, DJ is very lucky at that situation. That slip up, that springboard slip up, that's the kind of mistake that Adam Cage, in all seriousness, would take very, very good co control of. Now, you can see DJ Summers getting up Adam Cage on the outside of the ring now and slamming. Adam Cage into the apron. You can see DJ Summers now running around for a quick moment. This is not the time to be showboating. DJ Summers with a momentously painful suplex on the outside. You can see Adam Cage's legs there got caught on the barricade. Now DJ Summers taking out Adam Cage on the outside of the ring now. This match is a completely normal match. DQs are in effect. Countouts are in effect. The referee is at eight. This match does not need to end via countout. This is a tournament match. We do not want any kind of controversy here. DJ Summers now with the pinfall. Although it does not work out for him. DJ Summers with that big kick. Oh, look at this. DJ now raking the eyes of Adam Cage, blinding him. Now sending Adam Cage into the turnbuckle. What's he got here? 
Oh, look at that. A momentously great move right there performed by DJ Summers. A little bit of agility there mixed in with the damage. Makes for a phenomenal bulldog. And look at that. A great move right there performed by DJ Summers. He hit him with that stunner. Now DJ stomping right on the chest of Adam Cage. Now look at this. DJ Summers now. He's measuring Adam Cage. We can see it here. We can see it. Here it comes. That is called the get down. DJ going for the pinfall. That's one. That's two. And it is over. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner of the match. D. J. Summers. Ladies and gentlemen, here we see some of the highlights that we've had throughout this matchup. This was a great match performed by both Adam and DJ. Now, Adam Cage was in control for majority of the match, but it looks like at the end, DJ Summers was able to find momentum, get the comeback going. And he was able to win this matchup with use of his finishing move that rolling flying clothesline right here the get down of course the referee pin for one two and three ladies and gentlemen here is your winner it looks like the most entertaining man in IPW won out this battle it is this man, DJ Summers. Congratulations to DJ Summers. Moving on to the next round of the Impact Pro Wrestling World Championship Tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, DJ Summers is still celebrating in the ring. But while he celebrates and heads back to the back, we are going to prepare for our next match of the night. Match number two, Johnny Starr versus Rick Hall, the Savage versus the Star, coming up next. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our second match of the evening. In our first match, DJ Summers walked away with the victory, advancing to the second round. And now we are going to find out who in this match will win and move on to the second round. It will be either Johnny Storm or this man walking down to the ring right now. Rick the Savage Hall. Of course, Rick Hall being highly prepared for this matchup. I believe this is a big, big match for everybody involved in all the matches tonight, all the matches last week, and this whole tournament. Being the first ever Impact Pro Wrestling World Champion, or even just the first champion, period, is a huge honor and a huge show of respect for all your wrestling skills. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Rick the Savage Hall is currently in the ring, and now we welcome his opponent, Johnny Starr, the brightest star in Impact Pro Wrestling. Johnny now coming down to the ring, ready for this matchup to start. This man, Johnny Starr, using a brain buster as a finisher that we all know to be called the Exploding Star, and Rick Hall utilizing a cutter that we know to be called the Savage Cutter. This is going to be a big match for both of these men. It's going to be a big result here. Time for us to see which one of these men will be able to walk away with a victory. This man right now, we all know him to be Johnny Starr or Rick the Savage Hall. Ladies and gentlemen, the match has started. And Johnny Starr starting off the match aggressive with that running neck breaker. We saw the same thing when Adam Cage started off his match the same way. Very aggressive and very on top of his opponent early on. Although we know how Adam Cage ended that matchup taking the 1-2-3 instead of giving it. 
it appears here that we might do the same thing with Johnny starting off the match in control dominant although we might see the exact same kind of match we saw between DJ and Adam although of course that match was in the past this match is right now we'll see what happens oh look at that Rick Hall now raking the eyes of Johnny Star now sending Johnny against those ropes flying clothesline right there performed by Rick Hall and a great move now Rick Hall delivering some elbows to Johnny Star and look at these push-ups now that's not gonna do any damage but that's definitely gonna hurt the ego now Rick putting Johnny in that camel clutch but look at this Johnny breaking out guess it's a little bit too early for any kind of submissions here Oh, look at this. Johnny was going for a kick, but Rick Hall grabbed that leg and a great twist. Now Rick getting Johnny up, going for a suplex here, but Johnny blocked it with his foot. And Johnny delivering a suplex of his own. Oh, look at this. Johnny stalking Rick. Rick getting up, being turned around, and Johnny gives him a knee and a big clothesline. Johnny going up to the top of rope here. Looks like we're going to see some high risk action. Oh, but not on an opponent lying down on his back. Johnny wants Rick to get up. And what's Johnny got planned here? He's going for a crossbody from the top rope. A great move here performed by Johnny. Trying to win off that crossbody. That's one. Ooh, but that's not two. And that's most certainly not three. Now Johnny's star. Just digging in his knuckles to Rick Hall's head here. Dealing some damage slow and carefully. It looks like Rick Hall has had time to recover as he able to put that back suplex backbreaker on Johnny Stark. And then a big kick to the chest. Now Rick taking the time to do some extra damage here. Twisting the neck of Johnny Starr. Johnny Star now able to fight out of it. Two big punches. One to the gut. One to the face. Oh, but that's not going to stop Rick as he delivers some punches of his own and elbows out as well. Now Rick sending Johnny into the corner. Oh, well, look at this. Rick setting up Johnny on the top rope, facing his back. Look at this. Here comes the big neck breaker from the top rope. A great move right there. Performed by Rick Hall. Now Rick going for the pinfall. That's one. Ooh, that was close. That was very, very close, but I do not think that was two. A great chop to Johnny, but Johnny back up now, getting back on the aggression, now sending Rick Hall into that corner. Now sending him into the opposite corner, and Johnny with that big running boot. Johnny going for the pinfall, that's one, and that's not two, and again, that's certainly not three. Now Johnny delivering some big elbows to Rick Hall, trying to damage the body of Rick Hall. It's not a big move. That's not going to win you any matches. But that's certainly going to contribute just like that move, that big springboard moonsault. A big move, but still not going to win you anything. Now Johnny back in control here. Johnny keeping his control with that big jumping elbow. Went for the pin, but only a one count there. Now Johnny again delivering these elbows. Now look at this. Johnny going up to the top rope. Johnny going for another crossbody. Nope, he's going for a senton. A flying seated senton on a Rick Hall. Now getting Rick up, sending Rick into a corner the third corner Rick's been in during this whole match and look at that Rick with that nice reversal now here comes Rick putting up Johnny on his shoulders and there is a nice move ladies and gentlemen in the wrestling business we call that the air raid siren going for the pinfall off that that was only a two count right there now Johnny 
Nice reversal, taking off that leg of Rick Hall without a leg. That man cannot stand. Now Johnny Starr getting Rick back up. And look at this. Big move right there performed by Johnny Starr. Looks like Rick just took the full impact of that boot to the side of the face. Oh, look at that. Johnny going for the pinfall. That wasn't one. It was two. And it looks like he was inches away from a three. Oh, look at this. Johnny might be going for it. He's measuring Rick Hall here. Here it comes, ladies and gentlemen. That is the exploding star. Which we all know to be a son. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the finishing move, that brain buster. And the match is over. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner via pinfall, Johnny Starr. This was a great match performed by both of these men. Both these men put in one hell of a match here. But it looks like Johnny Starr was just a better man tonight. Do you see some of the excellent moves that we've had throughout this match? Including this big elbow drop. Here comes that air raid siren that we saw earlier performed by Rick Hall. Now here's the end of the match, the Brain Buster, the Exploding Star finisher performed by Johnny Star and accompanied by the one, the two, and the three. Congratulations to Johnny Star. He will be moving on to the second round of this tournament. And now, ladies and gentlemen, moving on. Ladies and gentlemen, now we know that DJ Summers is moving on to the second round. Now we know that Johnny Starr is moving on to the second round. But now we're going to find out who will be the third person tonight to move on to the second round. Of course, being accompanied by the likes of, well, Beast, by the likes of Ryan O'Ryan, and many more. Tonight, we will be able to find out who of these two men will move on to the second round. That match is coming up next. Peter Young or Eddie Danger. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our third matchup of the evening. We've had two great matches so far, and it's time for another one. And one of the men that's going to make that happen is this man coming down to the ring right now, wearing the white, wearing the red, and the black. His name is Eddie Danger. Eddie Danger, prepare for this matchup. Now, you can tell by the name that this man is not a safe human being. This man is just as dangerous as a gun, just as dangerous as fire, just as dangerous as alcoholism or addicted to smoking cigarettes. This man is one dangerous SOB and he is going to be a huge threat to the other man in this match. Eddie Danger's opponent, the phenomenal one, Peter Young. Although excuse me if I'm underselling Peter Young himself. Peter Young, if he's gotten the nickname The Phenomenal One, then he is also nothing to be trifled with here in Impact Pro Wrestling. And now here he is, The Phenomenal Peter Young. Here he comes, ladies and gentlemen, ready for this match. The Phenomenal Peter Young, he is a cocky, cocky SOB but he has a right to be cocky as he is one of the most technically proficient wrestlers that we have here in Impact Pro Wrestling and athletically this man might be literally the best we have as he's willing to do anything and go any heights this man can go extreme he can go high flat he will stick in the ring and talk about how he can go technically and then he'll prove it the exact same time this man can do everything in the ring, and it's going to be one marvel to see him here perform against Eddie Danger. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Danger, the phenomenal one, Peter Young. The referee's going to ring the bell. Let's get the match started. 
Eddie Danger starting off the match by slamming Peter Young into that corner here. Now Peter Young gonna Irish whip Eddie Danger to the outside, bringing him back in halfway at least. Now a little bit more, setting up for that neck breaker. Peter Young digging those knuckles into Eddie Danger's head. And Peter Young with that double axe handle to Eddie Danger's back. Eddie Danger with that back body drop on Peter Young. Now Eddie Danger currently in control of this matchup. I'm gonna keep control here with a suplex. There we go. Nice vertical standing suplex performed by Eddie Danger. And Eddie Danger performing a nice knee right to the face of Peter Young. Phenomenal Peter Young with that, that hand, that arm drag, slamming Eddie Danger over him. Now Peter Young in control of this matchup. Now Peter drop kick right to the face of Eddie Danger, that side of the head. Look at this, Eddie going for a tiger suplex. Peter Young able to reverse it. Running, whip. Slamming Eddie Danger down to the mat. Now you can see the phenomenal one, Peter Young, applying a submission, that dragon sleeper. Although it looks like Eddie Danger gonna be able to break out of it by delivering some big knees. Look at that, once again, the phenomenal one, Peter Young, with another running whip. Now this time, no submissions. Gonna go for a suplex, but Eddie Danger blocked it. Suplex of his own. A little phenomenal one, Peter Young, for reversal of his own. Now look at this, phenomenal going for a pinfall here. He's got one, but wasn't able to get two, wasn't able to get three. Look at this, Peter Young. Oh, look at that. That's what I was talking about earlier, ladies and gentlemen, the cockiness. And even some more cockiness. The fans aren't happy with it. Now look at this, Peter Young. Look, like he's gonna stop his aggression here. Gonna let Eddie Danger recover a little bit. Phenomenal Peter Young with that elbow drop right there on Eddie Danger's chest. Phenomenal one, Peter Young, again, with that elbow drop. Now you can see this. Peter Young, springboard knee drop. That's one, that's two, and that's two for Peter Young, but that's not three. We do not win matches here in Impact Pro Wrestling with a two count, we end them with a three count. Eddie Danger taking the full impact of that double axe handle. And you see it again. Phenomenal Peter Young getting cocky once again. Eddie Danger now finally finding some kind of energy to reverse here. Sweeping the leg, going for a pinfall. Now that time he didn't even get one. That's phenomenal Peter Young was able to kick out almost immediately. And that phenomenal with that nice reversal and a super kick right to the gut. Now turning Eddie over, but Eddie reversing, getting to the back of Peter Young. Another reversal here, the exact same way. Now phenomenal, Peter Young still in control with that Russian leg sweep to Eddie. Now you can see it here. Phenomenal Peter Young, he does not even care. Taunting Eddie constantly. Now at this point, it's a sign of disrespect. Now here we have the phenomenal D. 
DDT, the PDT, if you will. Phenomenal Peter Young gonna stomp right on that arm of Eddie Danger. Now look at this measuring Eddie. Here comes the finishing move. We all call that the Young Forever. And Peter Young going for the pinfall. That's one, that's two, and that's three. The phenomenal one, Peter Young, dominated this match. And per his domination, he was able to come away with a victory. We'll see if he can maintain that dominance throughout the rest of the tournament. Although tonight, he is victorious here. Here you see some of the great moves performed throughout this matchup, such as that springboard knee strike. As well as this, the signature here, the PDT, and the finisher, the Young Forever. Which, of course, was able to give Peter Young the 1-2-3 victory. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is almost time for our main event of the evening. The Superman, Danny Myers, going one-on-one -on -one with the first-generation superstar, that is Trevor Jericho. Now, before we have our main event, we need to have some commercials from the lovely people that love Impact Pro Wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with Impact Pro Wrestling, and we are going to get right into the action. Right here, you can all see him walking down that ramp. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Superman, Danny Myers. And Danny Myers will have one hell of a time in this matchup going one-on-one -on -one with Trevor Jericho. We will see which one of these men comes out victorious. Personally, I'm voting for the Superman. I've been a fan of Superman my whole life, and I don't think that this Superman has any kryptonite. We will see exactly what happens here. Now that's Danny Myers in the ring right now, ready for the matchup to begin. But first, we need his opponent. We need the first generation superstar. Here he is. This is Trevor Jericho. Trevor Jericho promoting his first generation superstar t-shirt right there ladies and gentlemen Trevor Jericho ready for this matchup it's gonna be what hell of a time seeing what Trevor Jericho can do here against the Superman Danny Myers of course the Superman Danny Myers sporting of course what else besides the Superman punch able to end this matchup at any time as well as Trevor Jericho Representing that one single leg dropping that he calls the first gen. Now 
Ladies and gentlemen, this match has begun. The referee has rung the bell, and these two guys are about to go at it. Starting off with some nice chain of wrestling here, some chain grappling, showing off their technical skills. As you can see, control moving back and forth between both Danny and Trevor. Danny putting that nice arm bar on Trevor, and Trevor able to escape with a nice roll. Now look at this, Danny got an Irish whip, Trevor into the ropes, and jump on top of him to rain down the fist with the Lufez press. Danny going for a kick, but Trevor able to dodge it. Setting up Danny for that nice, nice move right there. Attacking the leg of Danny Myers. Not exactly the body part that I would think that Trevor Jericho would attack. Now that's the body part. I thought that Trevor Jericho would attack the head. Gotta get that head softened up for Trevor Jericho's finishing moves. He calls it the first gen. Now Trevor Jericho once again going after the leg of Danny Myers. I wonder what the game plan is here from Trevor Jericho going after the leg. Now Danny being sent to those ropes and Trevor hitting him with a very nice German suplex. Going for a stomp but Danny Myers able to dodge it. Now Danny sending Trevor into the corner here. And delivering a very nice back suplex. Now Danny Myers in control here. Nice kick to the chest of Trevor Jericho. Trevor Jericho continuously trying to get back up. But Danny Myers keeping him down. Going for a suplex and he gets it off. Great move right there by Danny Myers. Don't call him the Superman for no reason. Now Danny Myers attacking the hand and the arm here of Trevor Jericho. Odd body parts that both these men are going after. You would think they'd be going after well, each other's head. Danny Myers, so we could set up that strong Superman punch. And Trevor Jericho, so we could set up that first gen, that kick right to the head. Now here comes Danny Myers with that nice atomic drop. Danny Myers delivering a nice elbow to the back of Trevor Jericho's head. Danny trying to move Trevor a little bit closer to the ring so he can hit him right in the face with that nice punch. Trevor Jericho now finally with that nice reversal trying to get some momentum back as he delivered that big knee to the throat. Now trying to set up Danny for a suplex but Danny blocked it. Hit him with a suplex of his own. Now Danny Myers still in control here as he slams Trevor Jericho's face right into the mat. Now Danny setting up Trevor on those ropes. And they both go flying outside the ring with that nice clothesline. Now Danny Myers outside the ring with Trevor Jericho getting Trevor up and sending him to the ramp. Now this match is a completely normal match. You can win this match, or lose it I guess, through pinfall, submission, DQ, and countout. In this situation, you do not want to be outside of the ring. As winning by countout will not give you a very good reputation in this company, especially for our very first tournament. And losing will give you a worse reputation, especially getting a double countout, which just result in no winner. These men all though. Fighting outside of the ring, Trevor Jericho finally got the momentum, although this is not exactly where he wanted to get the momentum. Now look at this, Trevor Jericho getting back into the ring, but only to reset the count, and he gets back out to attack Danny Myers with that big running Meteora. Referee, of course, restarting the count at one. Danny Myers with that nice reversal. A nice clothesline put right there on Trevor Jericho. Trevor though able to uh, dodge the stomp attempt and hit Danny Myers with that nice running kick. And Trevor Jericho with that nice, nice knee to the face of Danny Myers. 
Now getting Danny up. Trevor Jericho now sending Danny back into the ring. And the match will continue inside the ring where it needs to continue. But Trevor going to stand out there on the apron so he could go for that frog splash. But Danny Myers dodged it. Looks like he was baiting Trevor Jericho there. Although the bait did not work well enough as Trevor Jericho is able to reverse sweeping the leg. Getting control back into this matchup. But Danny Myers now. Irish whooping Trevor Jericho to the outside. And that hot shot just put them back out on the outside. Now Danny getting Trevor up. Going for a punch. But Trevor able to block it. Oh, look at this. Trevor delivering two nice kicks. One to the leg and one big one to the chest of Danny Myers. That's going to stop your breathing for a couple seconds. Look at this. Trevor Jericho with a nice elbow drop and a little bit of cockiness to show it off too. Trevor Jericho with that nice jumping DDT on the outside of the ring. These men have got to get back into the ring. Referee currently at an eight count. Although it looks like both these men are now getting back into the ring and the match will continue from here. Trevor going for a pinfall here. He's got one, but that's not two, and that's far from three. Trevor Jericho delivering a nice inverted suplex here. Now look at this, Trevor going up to the top rope. What's Trevor got planned up there? He's got to have a plan. Going for a nice leg drop. Trevor going to try to continue his offense, but Danny Myers able to reverse, delivering a nice knee to the throat. Oh, look, Danny went for the pinfall there, but only got one. Now Danny delivering a nice kick to the back of Trevor Jericho. And now slamming Trevor Jericho's face into the mat. That's not going to win you any matches, but it will definitely give some disrespect to your opponent. Now Danny Myers delivering some... Well, three big elbow drops. Now Danny going up top just as Trevor has. We'll see what Danny's got planned up there. Perhaps another leg drop? Oh no, not a leg drop. Yeah, it looks like Danny wants Trevor to get up for this. Oh, look at that. He set him back down. But that was not the time to be doing that. And that just gave Trevor Jericho enough time to regain himself. Oh, but Danny not going to let Trevor get momentum back that early. Now Danny setting up for that nice fireman's carry neck breaker. Danny going for a knee strike, but Trevor able to dodge it. Oh, look at this. Trevor with that nice reversal. Danny was going for a slam there, but not able to get it off. Trevor Jericho with that nice snapmare driver. Look at this. What's Trevor got planned? Oh, looks like he was going for that springboard blockbuster. Not sure if he got all of it there, but it definitely got some kind of damage. Oh, look at that. Danny Myers with that nice reversal. Now look at this Danny. Once again, delivering these three big elbow drops to the chest of Trevor Jericho. Now look at this, Danny Myers just looking down at Trevor, admiring his work. It looks like he's getting prepared for his finishing move, the Superman punch. But it looks like Trevor Jericho's getting up before he could even pretend to aim it. Oh, but Danny gonna keep on the offense here at that elbow. Now look at this, Trevor out of nowhere, the first generation, the first gen. Trevor Jericho's finishing move, that rocket kick right to the skull, the pinfall, that's two right there, and that's three. And ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner from that match. 
Trevor Jericho, the first generation superstar. A great match performed by both of these men. A hard fought match. Momentum going back and forth here, but it looks like in the end, the Superman punch just wasn't able to connect or wasn't even a chance to connect. And the first gen, that rocket kick to the skull, was the finishing move here. Here you see the finish, that rocket kick. And the pinfall, able to give Trevor Jericho the 1 2 3 victory and to advance to the final stages. Beast, Ryan O'Ryan, Phenomenal Peter Young, Johnny Starr, DJ Summers, Adam Austin, Jack Smith. These are all the men that Trevor Jericho has joined in the second round. Thanks to this victory, those are all the men that will be competing in the next round to be determined who will be our first world champion. Ladies and Jets, that's the semifinals next week, and we'll see you then.